pubgoers.com be the hub of your pub. Today, pubgoers will be at the Caldera Tap House in beautiful downtown Ashland, Oregon. Hey pub goers, this is Casey again, and I'm at the Caldera Tap House in Ashland, Oregon with Jim Mills, owner of the establishment. Thanks, Jim, for being on pubgoers.com. Yep, sure. Thanks for coming. Um, it's a new establishment here in Ashland, and my mother told me I had to come over here and check it out because she has not been here yet. And uh, I want to start out just by asking a brief history of uh, the new pub that you set up, and also you're tied into a brewery you run locally too, right? Right. Right, exactly. Yeah, I started Caldera Brewing Company 12 years ago. We've been wholesale, pretty much uh, self-distributed for the first uh, six years. In and the back then, of your car? Yeah, yeah, but start with a Subaru, exactly. Nice. And we upgraded to a 78 van. <laughs> but, uh, and then uh, we've been with a uh, distributor ever since. And uh, just opened July 27th, so it's our first retail establishment that we've got going with restaurant. Yep. And you have a ton of beers on tap. I was just inside looking at all the taps. How many um, do you usually have on tap here at the uh, other We taps? have 20 taps, and right now we have 12 of our own and 8 guest taps. The, the guest taps rotate probably along with the, the beers yep. you make that are seasonal? Yep, correct. What I was actually just changing a keg over. We uh, had the Lompoc C Note on, which is an uh, Imperial Pale Ale, and now we have the Eyinger Oktoberfest from Germany. Oh, really? Coming on, yep. Um, and you're, do you make an Oktoberfest also? Yep, that's what we're drinking right here. This is our Meritzen, which is an Oktoberfest style beer. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> is this one of the more popular seasonal beers you have? We just put it on a couple days ago. The last season we had was a hibiscus ginger beer, and that was really popular. Okay. It was a huge hit here. What so this just came on. So it takes a while, you know, if you know if it's going to be pretty popular and whatnot. And then you could ramp up accordingly if it is popular by making more. Do you have a set amount? That no, you're it's make? just seasonals. We just pretty much make a certain amount, and that's it. What's Move the on. biggest seller you have here for the beers you brew? Um, probably our Ashland Amber. It's our flagship. And that's Thanks. actually sold in the area, too. I've seen that at a couple pubs yep. around here. And is it distributed yep. elsewhere, too, outside yep. of Ashland? State of Oregon, pretty much. State Portland, of Oregon. Eugene, Bend. Yeah. And you were mentioning a little while ago that your brewery actually is able to bottle some of the beers that you manufacture and able to distribute that? We can our beer, actually. We're okay. the first uh, craft brewery in Oregon to brew and can our own beer. Nice. So we've got our pale ale, Ashland Amber, and IPA in the cans. The IPA is a bright yellow can. Some of you might have seen it before on the mm -hmm. shelves. But yeah, um, it's distributed in Washington, Oregon, Northern California, um, Oklahoma, Virginia, Delaware, Missouri, and Puerto Rico. Wow. <laughs> International. Uh, actually, we sent a half a pallet to England a couple months ago. Okay. Is that for any kind of uh, fair or...? It was for basically a trial. They just wanted to test the waters and see how the can American beers are doing over in England. And I've already got a good response from the website. Excellent. Yeah. Opening up the EU for distribution. Yeah, possibly. Now, how much beer do you manufacture a week or a month or however you quantify it? Well, we do it annually by barrels, and there's two kegs to a barrel. And uh, last year we did 2,700 yeah. barrels, and we'll probably do about 3,400 this year. 3,400. And we should have a pretty good jump the next year. You guys are doing quite well then. It's. I mean, we're still small. We're really one of the smallest breweries in Oregon still, you know. Do you um, put your beers in any kind of festivals or fairs for competition? Yeah, the Oregon Brewers Festival, we had our hibiscus ginger beer in, and uh, they went through 22 kegs in the four days of the festival up there. Excellent. Yeah, and actually we're working on uh, some labels and label approval to start bottling our beer into 22-ounce bottles. Yeah, the 22-ounce yeah. bottles is definitely the way to go because yeah, it's pretty popular. the more the merrier. Before. Yeah. Um, the pub itself, do you guys serve food here? And if you do, what kind of menu do you have? We do. We have a pretty diverse menu. We've got uh, both some like pub grub and a little more fancy items. We've got a great mahi burger with a homemade um, passion fruit aioli. Uh, we have a, a passion fruit vinaigrette dressing for nice salads. Uh, of course, we got fresh cut fries and nachos, all that stuff. But we've got also black and blues, which is a uh, toasted baguette with blue cheese basil, candied almonds, red grapes toasted, and then uh, um, a maple balsamic vinaigrette, or uh, reduction drizzled on top. Okay, Those so are pretty good. it's a little more than regular pub grub. Yeah. It sounds like you guys yeah. have a full menu of different Definitely. items, the high shelf stuff, top yep. shelf, and then some of the pub grub. Yep. Um, inside, I noticed you guys do have a stage, so I, I'm yep. thinking there's live music here. Right. Um, what, when is right. that? What kind of music is it? There's an open mic night? Before? It's, uh, we haven't really done an open mic night, but uh, we just had some girls in the other day. They want to do a goddess uh, day, which is the, like the last Tuesday of the month where 
it's three of them just up there, all singer songwriters, really really uh, talented women. Kind of acoustic or black pop um, hard rock? No, it's kind of more acoustic, I think. I'm not really sure. I haven't seen them yet, but I know Gretchen. She's played here a couple times so far, and she's really talented. It's only a matter of time before our label discovers her, really. And then, uh, yeah, we just have different different sorts of music. It's a small room, so we just ask the bands that if they can control their you know volume, have the drummers be dynamic. And you must have a lot of musical talent in Nashville because it's kind of a, a, an arts community because of the theater being Yeah, there. there's a lot of really uh, talented local people here. And then also we're kind of on the tour from San Francisco to Portland and a lot of bands. We're fortunate enough to be in this spot because a lot of bands will come through and they'll play for just a few dollar cover to cover their motel room, their gas, whatever, you know. And then you pick them up to play at your place on the cheap basis. Yeah, exactly. You know, and we give them a couple pints and, uh, and a burger or a sandwich when they play. And, they get the door here, and like they get that. the door too. So, one of the things I love about this place is the deck seating because you have yeah. a huge deck area, and I think it's like yeah. one of the biggest in Ashland for deck. It seating, is. Right? It's the biggest deck in Ashland, definitely. Um, the one thing I wanted to find out about is ingredients for the beer. I notice a lot of the um, local breweries around here really are trying to go organic or keep the, the hops and the malt local. Because I know Oregon's a big producer of right. hops and malt. So, right. what are some of the ingredients you use to manufacture your beer? Well, actually, we, we have a fresh hop beer in the tank right now where the hops were just right over there on the other side of I-5. Mm-hmm. So it was pretty much 10 minutes from the field to the kettle. Wow. And um, it's a brand new hop farm, uh, Steve Pierce with Alpha Beta, and, you know, he's figuring it out. So I'm contracted. There was a bit of a hop scare last year, so I'm contracted for the next three to five years with my hops from Yakima. But I uh, definitely am trying to go more of a, a Oregon source. This is the first year that our Willamette hops, which we use in our porter and some of our other beers, um, that those are going to be Oregon grown up outside of Portland area. So you, we're slowly transitioning into that. But yeah, I know there is a big, like you mentioned, the hop shortage. I think there's a huge fire up in Washington somewhere, of a warehouse full of hops. I think, right? Uh, that, was that what it was, or just commodity prices kind of going? Through it the was market? a combination of everything, okay. really. Yeah. Um, that's it for me. If there's anything else you want to add of why people should come to, you know, your pub brewery or even just your brewery, which is located in Ashland, also uh, let everybody know. Yeah. Um, well, it's just kind of funny because this is an 18-year full circle for me. This used to be the Rogue Brewery, and I started working here in about '91, bartending and cooking pizzas. And then I started washing kegs for free. Was brewer's assistant for a while, and then I was the head brewer for about a year in '95. I started my business plan and started Caldera in 97, so, you know, which it's, it's kind of weird because I've been here for so long and seen so many businesses, and it's just nice to be able to have our own, you know, our own outlet with good food and good beer. Like you said, you so, came full circle. And yeah. Back and now you own yep. the joint. Yep. What's the address here? Uh, 31 Water Street, 31. under the bridge. Under the bridge, Ashland, Oregon. Yep. Thanks, Jim. Yeah, thank you. Definitely, Casey. Right on.